Do you believe that it is impossible to be good without God? Yes. You do why? And let me explain you okay, why. It's a good what? question. This young lady asked, is it possible to be good without God? I'm going to give you two answers. The first one is no. The second reason is that you can have an outward morality that conforms to whatever society's morality is. The problem is, if that morality doesn't match up with what God says in His Word, the first of which is God commands all men everywhere to repent and to trust in Christ, you can't be saved. Here's another problem. If we base our moral standards on what society says we need to be moral, we got a real problem because we have societies that hold mutually exclusive and contradictory claims about what's moral. Let me give you an example. So how do you know which one is right? You can't without God. And that's the problem. But all of them have God. No, they don't. Sure they do. <laughs> sure they don't. I'm sorry. If they did, then they wouldn't end up doing things like massacring. And, and hold on. They would not do things like massacring 30 million of their own people. That's what happened under Joseph Stalin's regime. Now, by saying that, I'm not saying that atheists are, are going to automatically do what Joseph Stalin did. But what I am saying is because whoa, atheists whoa, 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 says, whoa. hold on, let me finish. <laughs> you asked your question. Okay, I'm answering your question. It takes I longer than a 30-second soundbite. I'm not saying that if you're an atheist, that you're going to do what Stalin did. I'm not saying that. Christians but the fundamental did. presupposition of atheism is okay. that man gets to make up his own law. And if you get to do what's right in your own eyes, as long as society agrees to it, we can do whatever the heck we want. Okay. We can yeah. torture little girls for fun. And you're going to say, that's ridiculous. Okay. I agree, but you can't make sense out of that without my Jesus. You're going to have to borrow from Jesus in order to argue okay. against okay. Jesus. Okay. Now, let me finish. The second reason that you can't be moral without Jesus, faith in Jesus Christ is because the Bible says that there is none righteous. No, not one. Because your righteous deeds so you be are not going to get you to heaven. Now, Hitler was not a Christian. Yes, he was. That he is accepted an Jesus. Lie. No. Go to Tecton. You just using Stalin as the only atheist you bring I'm up. That is. You are, sir. Hitler, Hitler was not a Christian. Actually, Jesus he was also a Christian. Hold on, let me finish. We're going to have to have a give and take. But, okay, anyway. Jesus, hold on. Hold on. You make the point. If you're going to talk over me, I'm going to step down and leave. But you're not we're hearing have what a, I'm that's saying. That's because I have to explain what you just said. This young lady and this gentleman said that Hitler was a Christian. Jezebel. Here's the problem. Jesus said this. Jesus said to love your enemies. Pray for those who persecute you and despitefully use you. Jesus said that the way that people are going to know that you were one of his disciples is if you love your neighbor as yourself, not put them in a gas chamber. Amen. Not to engage in ethnic cleansing. Amen. So what happened that to is the not Jews who prayed Hitler. for Hitler? Jesus Christ said that you will know whether a person's claim to their faith is true or not by the fruit that they bear. And if they bear wicked, rotten fruit, which I think killing six million Jews would qualify, when you're, when you're murdering someone simply because of their ethnicity under the new covenant, that is not the mark of a Christian. Hitler, if at best, was a false convert. And if you're going to say Hitler was a Christian, I don't you're, think hold on, was a good if you're going to say Hitler was a Christian, you're drunk. going to have to use Stalin what too. Jesus himself Stalin said about what a Christian looks to like to the determine the it. It's a question of the classroom. Yes, ma'am, go ahead. Do you remember what I said earlier? What I said earlier, Jesus said you will know them by their fruits. Let me ask you a question. Google. Everybody, please listen. How much is it? I'm not. If, million. It was in a forum, huh? If what? your girlfriend, you have girlfriend. That shit. How much was it? <laughs> if your girlfriend million. told you that she was a vegetarian. Was she is. She is. Cool. I, I heard she's she's trying to talk. I heard Kelly. Hey, guys, if you're million. just going to talk over me, I'm going to preach over your head. I was so no, dude. I if your ask, girlfriend ask, told ask you that she was a, you. a flat out vegan, ask no animal products. You're riding down the road coming home from work, and you see her coming out with a big old fat, coming out of Burger King with a big old fat sloppy Big Mac on You know, just tonguing that thing. If she was doing that, and she came home, she still got mustard on her shirt, and, and you said, I thought you were a vegan. 
you're like, well, you know, sometimes I engage in eating animal products. Yeah. And then you come home from work every day, and you're seeing her dogging that Big Mac. Yeah. Dude, she's not a vegan. Well, in the same sense, Does if somebody matter? claims the neck, well, when it comes to the parallel, listen to the parallel. I mean, if somebody claims to be a Christian, I don't care who it is, and they're murdering people, they're engaging in the act of taking innocent human life. This is not difficult, folks. They're not believers. At best, they're a false convert. There's a whole lot of jailhouse religion. Jesus said that it's not your works that save you, but if you are saved, you will produce repentance. You will produce works that are consistent with somebody who's had their heart that's been changed. Before I was a believer, I used to be a jerk. I used to cheat on my girlfriend. I used to do all these wicked things, things that I'm not going to mention beyond that. But when God changed me from the inside out, He made me a new creation. Those things that I once loved, I began to hate because He internally changed the constitution and the disposition of my heart. And that that can't happen through intellectual imagination. Why not? Well, because you can't make sense out of those things. Apart you can't from God. make sense of being out of being a good person. Sure. No, exactly. Sure. Why? You sure. can't. God, what was a good you. person in Nazi thank Germany you. in 1938 was for you to turn in a Jew, to turn in a homosexual, Sir, I to am turn in a Jewish. transvestite. Sir. That's wonderful. I am too. What I'm saying, you're missing the point. Oh, no. You Wait, morality. When you start with a socio-evolutionary concept of morality, I don't have Sir, an obligation to be rational in your you. worldview. I don't have an obligation Why? to be rational because Why? if every man determines what's right in his own eyes. And society gets to determine what moral standards ought to be because you ditched God in the process, you ditched His Word, then you can define your neighbor as only being your fellow Aryan. And that's exactly what happened in 1936. The German Supreme Court said, you know what? Jews are no longer persons. And on that basis, they were able to justify their murder. You can take Woodrow Wilson you see, the that Jews, as well. What about Asians? The, the he Germans were in. against murder. <laughs> they thought that murder was immoral. <laughs> but how do you make sense out of that without the gospel of Jesus Christ? So, okay. If you don't start with a transcendent standard of righteousness, if you do not begin with God all the <laughs> way, you can't make sense out of anything. A handshake when it is presented. Very simply, I don't want it anymore. <laughs> I'll take your hand. Very simply, I wanted a handshake because I agree with what you're saying. Thank you. I didn't see you, man. How about a hug? I'm sorry. What is hugging about? Hug? Yes. Hey. I literally sorry. wanted I a handshake. Thank you. Here. There you go. There you go. I agree with what you're saying.